Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. I'm about to start milking cows, but real quick, I wanted to mention that I will be starting to upload a bunch of my TikTok videos to YouTube and those will show up as shorts. I figured not everyone's on TikTok, so I might as well make it easier for everyone to access. So that's what those little short videos that only work in mobile mode will be. Just so you guys know, let's start milking cows. Do it again, Bucky. <laughs> oh, he's too busy. He's busy. <laughs> so milking is done and I'm out here by the kidding pens. It's still no babies from the boar goats. So we still have Maple who still looks ready to pop. Her ligaments are starting to soften though. And then the other day, I had to add Cupid. I was watching my group of does and I was just kind of observing. I usually take about 10 minutes and just slowly go over each one just to make sure they all look okay. Kind of like a daily assessment. And I was looking and then, oh, that's a nice udder. Wait, that's an udder. Uh, and then I checked and sure enough, Cupid suddenly had an udder. Whereas when I checked her two days before, there was hardly anything, so she should be having her baby soon. So I brought her in here and made a nice little pen. It was kinda a little bit of a uh, redneck <laughs> 
graphics and I can't use that door that's back there right now so but yeah these girls should be like hopefully within the week their ligaments are softening so that's a good sign and my prediction is that Cupid's gonna have one and that Maple is gonna have three <laughs> or two really big bucks so we'll see And then these babies are doing really well too. And then we have Bella, Bronco, and Bucky. So you'll notice that Bella is sitting down and eating and that is because her feet are still bothering her. Her prolapse has completely gone away just as those kinds of prolapses typically do after they kid. But the reason why she had the prolapse in the first place was because she was consistently laying down, not exercising properly because her legs were kind of sore. So her her tendons seem to be a little tight. I'm not too sure if it's a mineral or a nutrient deficiency because we do supplement them with all of the kinds of minerals that they should be getting like selenium and a, a salt block that has enough copper in it for them to be comfortable. So I'm not sure if it's hereditary or what, but she does have some leg problems so that's also another reason why we're not going to be breeding her anymore and that's why these bucklings are going to be castrated so that they become weathers and then the one doling that we have out of her blossom she's not in any of these barns she's in a kind of pet barn by the house so you don't get you guys don't see her very much in the videos if at all so we're not going to be breeding blossom either she's a really nice kind of sweet doe she's very shy so she's not the tamest but I wish it would be different, however, we want to keep going with the best genetics, so we have to make these tough decisions on who to breed, when to breed, why to breed, and if the reason is ever based on just color, like Bella, because she's got moon spots and those are pretty sought after then you're not breeding for the right reasons. You need to be breeding for the good confirmation and the good personality traits that you want to keep seeing because those are also hereditary. So you need to focus on what's really important and if they're colorful, then that's just a bonus. So that's what we're doing here. Are you gonna have your babies yet or what? No? <laughs> What about you? What about your baby, huh? I also wanted to give a shout out to Zion Creek Farm. I'll put somewhere down in the description box, I guess, a link to their channel. The main guy of the YouTube channel, Sean, sent me a very kind message the other day. And it was just nice to connect with somebody else who also has goats. So if you guys are interested in seeing a very, really nice goat channel, then go follow him and send some well wishes for Strusel, one of his goats that's been having a little bit of trouble lately. So if you guys want more goat content, go follow Zion Creek Farm. Anyways, I think that'll be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please like and subscribe and share it with a friend. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.